future. Fortunately, we managed to clean all the manure out of this car. And here, this giant is here from Jurassic World. Might look familiar to those of you who saw the movie, although slightly different, right? Because the uh, it's not covered with glass, right? In the film, it's completely encased inside of a glass sphere. But believe it or not, that gyrosphere was actually never built with any glass. All the glass you see in the movie is entirely digital. It's all CGI. Because glass is really reflective, which means that it's hard to avoid getting any unwanted reflections in that glass, like cameras and lighting equipment and crew members, that kind of thing. So they made a very conscious decision to leave the glass off the gyrosphere and build it digitally so that they could put in reflections of things that they did want, like dinosaurs, without having to worry about reflections of things they didn't want, like cameras. And speaking of dinosaurs, we do have some more props and picture cars from the first three Jurassic Park films to show you, including a certain mobile lab that was used in the Lost World of Jurassic Park, the second film in the series. Now there's a scene where they get uh, pushed off of a cliff by an angry mama T-Rex in that movie, and in that scene, this is the very same mobile lab that was used where they are getting pushed off of a cliff. Now we yeah. didn't actually push them off the side of a cliff though. We actually just used the side of a parking structure. In fact, the parking structure here on the lot of Race Out Stage 27. And we dressed it to look like a cliff and then dangled the, the lab. Whoa. All right, sorry about that, guys. Okay, well, you can't say I didn't warn you. You guys didn't think I was kidding about the dinosaurs, but did you? Yeah, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You made a new friend. Well done. Uh, but in all seriousness, a lot of the tone and the mood of the Jurassic Park films was set by the weather. It wouldn't have been as tense and scary if they were running away from a T-Rex and it was bright and sunny all the time. Of course, that's usually the case here in Los Angeles, which means that filmmakers have had to get a little creative over the years in terms of making weather work for them. This is on the making. Since we're hovering around the subject of weather, I think now is a good time for me to hand it over to the Today Show's Al Roker. Let's see if he can give us an idea of what kind of weather we can expect on the rest of the tour today. Hi everybody, here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry in Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy in Little Europe. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street. And we've got a high chance of fog and precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Isla de Well, what is that? What's going on? 